<clears throat> Welcome back to Journey Home, where we left off of uh, trying to find our way across this goddamn gorge, and that's just basically it, so let's get back to it. Oh. Oh. Clung securely onto the strong limb. All right. What? There we go. My... What? That defies physics. Fuck off. Seriously? Now I can't go back, so... I can't go back, so the backup save is there for a reason. Warning. Attempted species cull in progress. Why is the journey home like a fortification? It's like a fucking attack on Titan protection. Okay. Um... Half-submerged vehicle is beyond there. Ooh, hey, look what we got here. We got tentacles, boy. Tentacles. I want to die to tentacles. Wink, wink. Ho, ho. Covering the hole with your hands is out of the question. Gee, I wonder what this plank is for. That's an excellent idea, but the impromptu bung will be more beneficial on a particular area. Of the Get the fuck out of here. There we go. The makeshift repair works just as you'd hope and sets almost instantly. That's some kind of crazy-ass fucking sap we got there. Sapling. Okay, well, let's use the axe. No, not on the fucking lake. It won't achieve. Okay. Oh, hey, there's a tentacle. Tentacles! Suckered feelers repeatedly emerge from the lake near the far bank. You suspect they might have something to do with a horrific bloody mass mess nearby. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Just maybe. Let's take the fish. You slip the you slip the catch into your pocket whilst pondering its usefulness. Getting tongue-tied here. Got it broken. You have no idea, no desire to carry the snap pole around with you? Okay, how about the net? You can't think of a worthwhile use for the accessory. How about the hat? The grim accessory will only draw carnivores to pursue you. You leave it where it is. How about the stool? The thought of sitting down is very tempting, but you, ca you have to keep moving. Oh. Alright, well, let's... Can we combine... Combine, cook? This? This? No. The fish was seemingly one of the last few remaining in the lake. You wonder if it attracted the mysterious creature on the shore. Wait, if, if it attracted the mysterious creature. Can, can we? Can we? No. Oh. What? Is it gonna kill me? Oh god, that's not a good idea. But hey, let's die! Please. Yes! Another death animation. Good. Good, good. I wanna get all death animations. But then it has to be the developer who will tell me whether or not I have all the death animations or I missed any. Because I would want to die to, like, the spider, the the plant that with teeth, the poison nettles. We died to the boar, but that's boring. I want, like, gruesome deaths. Like, this kid just died to fucking tentacle rape right now. I'm going to presume I'm going to have to use the fish on this fucking tree for some reason. Not the right approach, but we're close. Uh, the rope. Yes. Tether the stretchy brace to the young tree's branches, crafting a makeshift launcher. Okay. So we're going to catapult the fish in the water? Yeah! Oh, God. The lifeless fish is propelled swiftly through the air, splashing in the close proximity of the deadly explosives. You wait inevitably to... You wait for the inevitable bang as the creature glides through the water. And not to tentacle rape me, but to get cooked. Because I know someone who likes to cook tentacles. But only cooked tentacles. Kaboom. But nothing happens. Ooh. It's a smart octopus. Okay. So we're gonna have to shoot the shovel now. The shovel's too heavy. Hmm. Oh, I don't have a cigarette, though. That's my question. Do you want a cigarette, Mr. Tentacle? You, that won't help you be past the horror of the deep. Hmm. What now? Am I going to save the game? Not the back of one, of course. I don't know what I'm going to need these for, specifically. I don't think I can fling this precisely, but... Let's see what happens if we get in the boat. Or maybe that something is in the car. If the mines don't blow you to a thousand pieces, the monster will surely... Okay. Until the obstacles are cleared, you remain dry on the dry land. 
You're no doubt strong enough to shimmy... Wait, you doubt you're strong enough. Uh, what happens if we go backwards, then? Oh, we can come back! But well, we don't have anything new to really present for this area, but it's a good thing we know we can come back, but... And, and like, unless something has changed due to time, I don't see any real purpose to coming back here yet, unless I get a new item. But it's good that I can return, that means the backup save wasn't really necessary. I'm kinda curious what the fuck this eating emote is even for, if... in every circumstance, whenever you say, hey, like, he, he just shakes his head. What do I need to use this for? Would like would he be okay with eating the nettles? Like the poison nettles and that's what would kill him? What would be the use of eating or tasting? Using that as an action in this fucking game. Like seriously. He just says no to everything. Like drink the water. Do it. Do something with your fucking mouth. I don't fucking know. Like jeez. Can I, like, make it a fiery boat and then push it? Like, I need... I, I need the boat. He's not strong enough to shimmy. So what the fuck does the game want me to fucking do? Maybe, like... Oh, wait, what? What? You brandish the torch to shed some light on the mysterious wreck. The beached vehicle stirs up a fearful panic in your gut, like a half-remembered nightmare that robs your world of sunshine. As the churning piece subsides, you daydream that the truck is not sinking, but gradually emerging from the murky depths. Strange. I don't, I don't, I don't understand this fucking shovel. Shovel with why? Oh, oh, you try the shovel? Oh, oh. So if I get if I shimmy, I'm just gonna die. So let's do it. Let's fucking do it. Use this one. Let's do it. We're gonna get blown up or we're gonna get eaten. Oh no. Oh snap. Well, lucky for us, it fucking touched the mines. Okay. I I see. The surfing ten the surfacing tentacles are nowhere to be seen, indicating that your chances of making it across the water have significantly increased. The moment has arrived to take the water. But what are these things for still? Like, Jesus Christ, man. Let's just, look okay, at let's do it. What are we gonna use for a fucking paddle, huh, kid? Oh, um, we're just gonna, like, sort of shimmy across while standing on the boat? Like, I guess that works. Paradise. A king, a new lodge. Strange. It's a very beautiful wall. The wall is moist and slippery with a few footholds. There's no way you're climbing over it. What's in the mail? And whose fucking house is it? Is it mine, or is it someone else's? You open the box to discover a small first aid package and some sort of psychology journal. You retrieve them both. The sign securely fastened the wall and would be of little use anyways. Um, the parcel contains painkillers and bandages. You take one of each item and discard the box. The monthly publication about mental health issues has words of how to recover from trauma and blazoned across the cover. The drugs are extremely concentrated and clearly meant for patients in dire need. You're curious as to who in the house might require them and why. Maybe you should check the fucking name on the prescription model, maybe. The thick, strong dressing looks like it's meant to support broken bones as they heal. Hmm. I see. Let's see, anything I could combine this with? Doubt it, but... Now, let's see if I can go backwards and... You don't want to take your chances and, like, again, who knows what nasties might be patrolling. But what the fuck does the game want? I have to be missing something. The shining beacon is closer than ever, but it fails to conjure up any memories. All you feel is certain is that you need to get inside as soon as possible. Hmm, I'm missing something. Especially if I can't go backwards anymore. The lighter will only be useful in a certain spot on the barrier. Hmm. A certain spot, you say. The mailbox. Really? I was gonna, like, you know, use the shrapnel to fucking, like, put this in here, light it on fire, fill the torch, and then run away, and blow up 
So where do you, if you want me to put it somewhere? It says somewhere on the barrier it wants to go. The, like the fucking hole? Oh. Okay, sure, sure. That's what you want, okay. No? Just want me to blow it up now? That's it? Okay. Kaboom. No. Oh. Okay, oh, okay, that that makes sense. The lighter explodes and explodes fero ferociously, blowing up the gate or blowing open the gate. We still have a lot of items. I'm gonna have to think: Do we have a purpose for all of these? Ooh, let's go. Ooh, doesn't feel like the game's about to end either. And why is the flowers taking over the house? That's kind of weird. The residents of the house must draw their water supply from the well instead of making their way down to the treacherous lake. Based on what you've seen tonight, you can hardly blame them. Interesting. Alright, I'm gonna save it here, though. Um, I'm not, the, the, the backup might be useful for finding multiple endings, depending on how the other endings are found, or what I'm going to get as an ending, but I'm just, just kind of going to leave it here. I hope you enjoyed this, and continue looking forward to the game, and more episodes to come as I figure out the more of the game's endings, the deaths, and what the story's about. Probably the kid with trauma and shit like that. Either way, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, comment, hit the subscribe button, become a subscriber. Hit that bell notification down below for updates on my videos. Thank you for watching, and until the next time.